Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and a few months back when there was still snow on the ground I did a video about the new Ask Sprite importer for Unity. Well today I'm going to do the exact same thing but instead showing you for the Godot game engine. Now if you've never heard of it before, Ask Sprite or Ace Sprite or Ask Pirate, I'm not entirely certain how it's pronounced, is one of the coolest indie uh, graphic editors out there. It's a really cool project. A lot of people use it for their pixel art work. Uh, you can see it in action over here. This is the actual sample we're using. By the way, this sample came from the Phaser project, not my creation. But as you can see, full bone pixel editing with a fixed palette. Uh, also, you've got full animation in here, etc. Well, the cool thing here is you can actually export this out as an ASE file. And there is full ASE support in the Godot game engine. We're going to show how you can use a sprite in those engines. Now, the cool thing about a sprite also is you can grab it completely for free if you're willing to build it from source. And you can also buy it. There's a trial version as well. If you do want to buy it, by the way, top tip, buy it from Humble. Instead of buying it from Steam, it's actually slightly cheaper on Humble. It's like a $20 purchase. So I think that's about $17 USD. But if you buy it on Humble Bundle, uh, you actually get uh, a free DRM version and a Steam Redeem key. So you get not only the Steam version, but a DRM free version. So I will have that link down below. So if you want to go ahead and buy this guy, highly recommend using Humble. Plus, if you use my link, I get a bit of a kickback, and I appreciate that. By the way, you can also build um, a sprite from source code and do it yourself if you want to save some money. If you've got enough interest, I might do a video about that, but I'd like to see like the developers get some support there. So let me know if you're interested in seeing more. Alrighty, onto the Godot side of things, and this is super simple. As you can see, I've done a couple of different versions of this. Let's try this again. So we will now make Ass Pirate version 3. Uh, again, let's put this in a, the folder where all things go, of course, which would, of course, be C colon slash temp. Not using git. Create that folder. Create and edit. All right, so here is our new project. I'm going to show you this from the beginning to end because there's a part here that is sort of missing uh, that it, it kind of makes it a little bit tricky. So first thing we're going to, want to do is get the importer. You've got a number of different options here. I do have a favorite. That's why I've got so many different examples here. Just go up to the asset importer up here, asset lib, uh, and go to ASEP. That should be enough. And you're gonna see that you've got a number of different importers. This one is kind of neat because it actually brings it in as a sprite sheet. So once you've imported all of the various different pieces from the ASE file, you can actually go ahead and delete this guy. But the one I like the best is also the newest one, this guy right here. Just go ahead and add that to your project. So once that is done, install, and now you are ready to go. But there is two more steps left. First, go up to project, project settings, head on over to the plugins category over here and enable our plugin like so. So now a sprite is ready to go. One last thing we need to do is go into project, project settings, go back to general, turn on the advanced settings over here. This is what tripped me up because there's no documentation telling you to do this. Search for a sprite like so, find the a sprite importer section. And now what you're going to want to do is find the location where you installed a sprite, the exe. So in my case, it's the default uh, a sprite right here find the executable and click OK. So now it knows where to import it from. Very critical part of the install process. So do make sure you turn on this advanced settings or you're not going to actually find it when you search for it. So once that is done, we are now ready to go. And basically any ASE file that's dragged in is, you know, basically imported and handled. So I'm going to go ahead and use that exact same guy we looked at earlier on. So this uh, Char Adel Paladin over here and just drop it in. And this guy is actually, again, from the uh, Phaser sample projects. Uh, I will have a link to it in the linked article down below if you're interested in grabbing that guy. Uh, and that's it. It is now imported. Uh, and it brought it in as a number of different options. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at how this looks. So we could just drop that into our scene like so. And all you're going to see is a simple sprite. Probably not what you're looking for if you have a very advanced animated thing going on here. Uh, you do have control and options over here, but basically it's a single frame of animation. Probably not what you want. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to select this guy over here again. And then you're going to notice I go up to the import settings. And now we have a ton of options. So that time it imported as a texture 2D. What we want to do is import it either as an animated sprite 2D or a sprite 2D with an animation player. So let's try this one right over here. And we'll do a re-import. Uh, I don't know why this wants to save the scene and restart, but that's uh, what it does. So uh, we'll give it a second. It's going to re-import that asset, but this time as an animated sprite 2D. Again, I have no idea for why the restart is required, but okay, let's just give this a second. And we are back. Now you'll notice there's this PNG file over here, which has actually got all of the frames 
uh, like so. Everything from that animation is brought in. And now we've got this guy right here. So let's create a new 2D scene, and we will drop this guy into the scene. There you see a very simple sprite like so. And now what you're going to notice is there are a variety of different animations available like this. So you can see if you use that guy. We are getting some artifacting. I'm not sure particularly why. Let's do it with the idle, the hurt animation. So you can see it's so simple to bring these guys into your game and boom, you're off and ready to go. It's a very cool process in that regard. Uh, and it, you know, all of your authoring. If we go back over to Ace Sprite itself, you see here we've got all these various different uh, frames of animation going on in this sequence. They are all being brought over. Here, let me pause this so we can actually see. So all of these various different frames of animation are brought over. So release, stand up, and so on. So you can author all of your animations in as a single file and then have them import. And now thanks to this plugin, it actually knows how to recognize that ASE file and it handles it and automatically brings it in in a variety of different formats. Now, in addition to this guy, I'm going to delete this guy out of here. And we could go back to him and do an import. So instead of doing animated sprite today, we could also say make a 2D sprite with uh, an animation player and then re-import. Once again, I don't know why it requires the restart, but we'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. Let's open up a new scene. So we got this guy over here and we're going to drop it in. And you're going to notice, hey, now there's nothing there. Well, that's because this guy is set up a little bit differently and you now need to configure the animation on it. So let's go in here and we'll take a look at this guy like this. Let's grab it so you can see the animation player and there's all of these different animations now available. So sliding animation, for example, and then now you see it. So this is set up a little bit differently. This is using an animation player and a sprite 2D. So you can either use the, the two different methods or of course you could just bring across a single frame. Really powerful tool. What this plugin is really cool for is if you're doing your authoring uh, over here and you make some changes you want to bring across all of your changes at once, this is a great way to go about things. Now do keep in mind, you do have other options available. So we could also come in here uh, we got this guy, did not mean to hit my caps lock key, but that works. The other one, again, I would recommend is this guy, and it takes a different approach. This one actually is doing a raw import. So there's a different setup here. Unfortunately, one of the setting changes here is you got to go into the editor settings, and you set the location here instead. Same process, but just different location for telling it where a sprite is. And now what you're going to notice is you go under tools, uh, if you go under, oh, you go under project settings first and enable the plugin like so. Now you go under tools. You've got the uh, configurations. So you can set it up how to work. So you can set the setting right there. And then you go over here and you've got the import wizard. And what this basically does is I could go ahead and locate the sprite file I want to bring in, where I want it to go. We can use some things to say, okay, ignore these and so on. Split layers across multiple resources, etc. And then we can go ahead and import that. And what this is actually going to do is bring it in more as a raw asset. So you can see, actually, I think it generated this guy. So it's the end ultimate the same result. But the kicker is this is more for bringing an ASE file in to generate an image. And then you're done with it. So at this point in time, I would now have this image available to me. Uh, so let me see if I just go ahead. I'll remove that guy right here. Let's get rid of the resource that goes with it. Okay. And now we'll do the import again. So you see this from scratch. So we're bringing in this guy over here and it's creating this PNG file for us. So then if we wanted to, we could actually go ahead and turn this guy off completely. We could uninstall it because uh, we just brought it in. It's basically just a straight out sprite sheet importer. So two different approaches to dealing with a sprite files. If you're going to be doing an iterative process where you're going to make multiple different edits, I would highly recommend to use the importer, this guy right here, because that actually adds ASE support directly to the Godot game engine. Uh, whereas this one over here is more of like a straight out sprite sheet importer that knows how to read a sprite files. Both really cool though. So if you want to work with a sprite, you can do it directly uh, inside, just like you can with the Unity game engine now, you can do it inside of the Godot game engine. Both of them are available from the asset lib. And again, a sprite excellent texturing program or um, sprite drawing program. Highly recommend checking out. Let me know if you want a more in-depth video on a sprite. I did one back in like 2017. And yeah, I own it. I haven't really done anything with it. But if you want to see actually how to go about using it to make some really ugly pixel art, I could probably do a tutorial if there is enough interest. Again, I could also do a video about how you could build it yourself from source code, but I'd like to see the author get the support though. So let me know what you think there. But if you are looking to buy it, highly recommend again, 
pick it up on Humble. And the biggest reason for that is you do get a Steam key that you can redeem on Steam, but you also get a standalone DRM-free version for Windows, Mac, and Linux that you can just use. So then you don't need to be, you know, running Steam. You can run it on multiple computers and all that. So running development software on Steam kind of sucks, whereas this version is so much nicer. So you get both of the things that you would get by buying it on Steam. But in this particular case, you know, it's cheaper and you're getting the DRM-free version as well as the Steam key. So it's a no-brainer to buy it on Humble if you are going to buy it. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the Ace Sprite importer in the Godot game engine. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.